This is the extraordinary story of a brave young woodpecker and his parents. These events take place on the edge of Manor Farm Woods in the heart of Hampshire. Here we see the baby, about three weeks old. Mother and father take turns feeding their chick. He wants to keep to the safety of his nest, but hunger overtakes the fear. The father tries to coax the baby further out. but food is the only thing he's interested in. The next day is fine with a strong breeze. Both parents work hard to feed the hungry chick. Whoa, this is fun. Despite the breeze, he ventures out a little. Well, it may be windy today, but tomorrow is another story. The next scene needs no dialogue. Days on, and the attack seems to have been forgotten. Hmm, that's interesting. He's definitely getting more curious about the outside world. Oh. Oh, nearly. This time, the parents are gone for half an hour. He's out. Out in the big wide world.
A little later, we spot him on a nearby barn. A bit ruffled, but he's okay. A few days later, he's found his way home. Still only a few weeks old, he's glad to be back home. His parents will never return. In the next few days, there seems to be a lot of activity around the nest. And not only from birds. Look at this cheeky young thing. Oh well, that was fun. This visitor looks a bit more serious. Nice view. Back for another viewing. But there's trouble ahead. Big trouble. The young woodpecker tries to scare off the intruder. He's so shocked, he doesn't quite know how to handle the situation. He returns the next day, looking very apprehensive. He hammers the tree to make his presence known. It's all clear. Home at last. Having a well-earned rest, he receives another visitor. Just watch his face. Well, he's still here. I wonder what he's thinking. I've been attacked by crows, blackbirds, invaded by strange creatures, not to mention the squirrel. Who knows? One day I may have a family of my own here. Far away from the city's cry Where the wild waters run I can see them watching eagle fly